Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Manny on the field today. What is up, I I can't curse the first minute of my videos because I'll get demonetized. They're silencing me. Anyways guys, what is up? Today's video is a wild Manny out in the field. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go shopping because I, I just need some new fits. Specifically, I want a little outfit for New Year's Eve the eve of the new and i don't really have anything like that's new that i would actually want to wear because like honestly like what if i make out with someone what if i make out with someone i don't i don't know what i'm gonna do i don't know what i'm gonna do i need to look fucking cute i'm not gonna be fully glam i have like two little things i was invited to i'm not gonna be fully glam because usually when i'm fully glam i don't get trade like that but when i'm not glam and I have like a little bit of concealer and some blush on that's when I thrive. <laughs> so that's today's video. I'm actually just waiting for my boba to be done because, um, you know, she's a boba girl. She's a boba girl, a material girl. Material. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls love boba. Um, so that's today's video with me, guys. We're just gonna do a shopping excursion. Hope you guys don't mind. I, I might do a little haul at the end, depending on how long this video is, I don't know. But um, I might do a little haul at the end because I haven't really like uploaded a real like video video in a while. And I don't really have anything to, specifically that I want to upload. I already had to go buy some outfits. So I'm like, why don't I just record it? So uh, that's what that's gonna be. So as always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't fucking watch it. No joke with that. Just don't. If you don't like me, just don't watch me. Also, I guess for Daniel, Daniel Prada, I haven't given him his Christmas gift yet. Actually, it's his birthday gift, but anyway. But if you guys do like this video, if you guys like little shopping with me hauls, if you guys like the gays, don't worry, I'm a drag queen. There's no dignity to begin with. Give zero thumbs up. And I apologize because I feel like this video is going to be a little bit more wild, a little bit more manic. I feel like Manny out in the field is a little bit more. You know, like I don't. I feel like whenever I'm in for my studio, I'm a little more calm. The Manny on the field, bitch, he's out here. He's fucking voguing. You know, so, you know. <laughs> not it pouring rain and me not having literally any jacket or umbrella or anything. Ah, uh, I don't prepare for nothing. Dirty, flirty, and thriving. Two seconds later. I'm fucking cold. It's cold outside, but I'm still looking like a daddy because a home never gets cold. You guys, uh, it's so busy in the parking lots. Oh, not me saying it's so busy there's a parking spot open. I'm a liar. I'm just kidding. No, but seriously, like this is in the far reaches of the mall, and it's. Pop in. I'm scared. I don't do well with people when there's a lot at malls. And I'm by myself. I don't have anyone with me. This is literally the cutest thing I've ever seen. Look at them. They're taking orders outside in a little green get up. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Oh my God. You guys, I'm a fucking idiot. I'm an idiot. Where are you? An idiot sandwich. What are you? An idiot sandwich. Okay guys, first attempt. We are in H&M. And we're gonna look for some shit for a new wardrobe. Oh my god, the H&M section here is abysmal for men. Oh, why is the men's section always trash? Like, it's so small. Okay, I'm not a size queen, but it's small. My toxic trade is coming in for, like, nice clothes and wanting um, a hoodie that has fluff on it. So, there's that. A black puffer? Sorry, 30 years did it better. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I'm not kidding, actually. It, they really did. Okay, you guys, so H&M was a complete and utter flop. I've never seen an H&M flop that hard. Like, literally ever. <sighs> Just tried Forever 21. There's no men's section at the Forever 21 here. So I'm shooting blanks, fam. You guys, I found a Forever 21 section for men. Literally. It was like an, I got a fucking bruise. Where did that come from? I'm concerned. Um, anyway. There is a men's section in Fair Town. I was tripping. It was like a whole different entrance. <gasps> My hero. Okay, guys, so we got we we have options now. Do y'all see this? There's like a whole ass beauty section in Forever 21. Should I do like a full face of Forever 21 makeup? Let me know what you guys think. Okay, guys, next stop I'm gonna pop into Macy's because sometimes they have like the most cute ass dude clothes. Like Ink has some really cute shit, so oh, benefit, hi you. So we're gonna attempt this next place with me, look. So far we have like two little items from Forever 21. 
and now we're moving on. Okay guys, another toxic trait I have to tell you about is the fact that whenever I'm shopping, I don't try clothes on. Like it doesn't happen. Like I don't go into the dressing room, try things on. It's it's never, it never has. So anything that doesn't fit me, it's gonna be a problem. <laughs> okay, queen. Next stop is Cotton On. I'm liking the tees, very vibey. I kind of like this one. It just like kind of reminds me of when I was in high school. Uh, it's very Paxson vibes. Like I used to be obsessed with Paxson. And so now it's just a little cotton on moment in here. Let's cotton this on. I'm getting soaked and I don't mean it in a good way, you guys. <sighs> Time to take a little break. I'm under like an awning. I'm getting soaked. My hair is a disaster. I just went to Lululemon. So I got some stuff from Lulu's and we're gonna keep it moving. <gasps> and Urban Outfitters, fuck yeah. Sunny D, all right. Sunny D, all right. Do you guys wanna know the real tragedy of today? Other than not having a ton of options. <sighs> is the fact that I don't have a man to carry these bags for me. You see this shit? I have a lot of bags and I ain't got no man to carry them. Some might say it's a crime um, and I'm some, so. Anyway, I think we're pretty much done for the day, you guys. I think I'm gonna head home. I'm gonna show you guys what I got and then we'll be done. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I actually kinda had a lot of fun doing it. I haven't done a video like this since when I did it with Laura. When we went shopping, she took me on a little shopping spree and it was so much fun, so I thought I would do one because I needed some shit. Okay guys, before I leave, I'm gonna eat a spicy chicken sandwich from Stone Oven because this is actual heaven on earth. And if you haven't tried it, I need you to. It will give me chorro later, but honestly, it's worth it in the moment. And I actually do have to go after this because I swear I'm getting chub rub. My thighs are burning and it's time for me to go. I literally hope this works. Like seriously, I never film on this camera. But the thing is, that setup, my professional setup, it's not gonna work for this right now, fam. It's not gonna work because I have clothes and I have bags. It's too much, it's too much work. Anyway, we're back from the mall. Back of the mall is done. <laughs> Ooh, that was like kind of a good, like, could I vote? Maybe. So now we're gonna do the portion of the video where I'm basically, I'm literally sitting on the ground right now on a blanket. <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna show the portion of the things that I have actually acquired at the shop. So you guys saw the shopping, now we're at the hauling. And I don't do this very often, so you have to bear with me. Anyway, you guys, we're just going to start off with this Lulu Lemon. Why is it focused? Okay. See how the lighting goes darker? Oh, I don't like that. Um, anyway, so Lulu Lemon is god awfully expensive. And it shocks me. So I ended up grabbing two joggers because I only ever wear joggers to the gym. That's the thing about me. I only ever wear joggers to the gym. I never really wear shorts because my legs are really white and pale like mine. Like my whole body, actually, technically. But I just feel like I look cuter in sweats. Is that like weird? I got the license to train joggers. This is what they look like. They're joggery. I'm jogging. But honestly, guys, this is the haunting part. It's that they're so expensive. Why is Lulu? I always end up buying like the Aloe and Lulu joggers, but they're so pricey. I got in the style large, the size large. And it was $128 for one pair of sweats. Mind you, these last me a literal gazillion years. And I appreciate that because a lot of the other sweats I own, like don't last me that long. And I feel like the good stuff does. So, I mean, I guess you're paying for the quality, but you're also paying for the name. Don't lie to yourself. Let's not lie to ourselves here. We're paying for the name too. Don't lie to ourselves. You want to flex that you're wearing Miss Lulu. Anyway, next we have another pair of shorts. These are sweats. These are the Surge Jogger, and they have like a little bit of an elastic band. You see that? They're elastic. <laughs> They're elastic, also shade large. So, Size large, why am I saying shade large? Am I like rebooting? What's wrong with me? Wake up, diva. Anyway, these were also, how much were these? How weird, it's not on the thing. Do I have a receipt? I sure do. Those ones were 118, they're even a little bit cheaper. So I hope I like those more, so I can go back and buy more of those. Anyway, let's go on with my, this might be my favorite purchase that I did. This purchase might be my favorite one. Uh -huh. So I stopped into Zoomies. I don't really ever shop at Zoomies anymore. I used to love Zoomies and PacSun and when I was in high school, that was like my go-to. But I, I saw this jacket in there and it was also raining, pouring rain as you guys saw. So I grabbed a jacket and ran out of there. Look at this jacket. Okay, this is the jacket here. Okay, do you see this? Do you see this jacket? Okay, do you recognize this little symbol? Do you recognize this? Do you recognize the back? Oh yeah, my nerd is showing you guys. This is literally a Naruto uh, jacket. And it's so, it's like a raincoat jacket. It's a Naruto Shippuden collaboration. It's actually with, is this, who is this, Itachi on the back? Then we have Itachi on the back, just in a black and white kind of outline. I thought it was so freaking cute, I had to buy it. This was literally $100 though. 
Why is clothes getting so expensive? I'm confused. No, I'm confused. I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't get it. Anyway, next we're moving on to Urban Outfitters. I urbaned. So next, you guys, we have this. Okay, listen. It has been in a torrential downpour here in LA, and it's actually been a shock. It's literally been a shock to my system. The torrential downpour that's been happening here. So I was like, you know what? Let me just get more warm clothes. So I ended up getting this like purple flannel, which I honestly thought was so cute. It's like a purple pink flannel. What do you guys think? I think it's kind of adorable. You guys have to tell me what you guys' favorite things were, by the way. <laughs> you have to let me know, like what you liked from this haul. But this is from Urban. This bad boy was. It was 55. For a shirt? No, it wasn't. It was on sale. <gasps> Wait a damn minute. Wait a damn minute. Okay, okay, you know what? This was on sale. It was on sale. So it used to be 70. No, that's Canada. <laughs> this is $55 US, but I ended up paying total $42. So I think it had an extra discount because you know it's like Christmas time and like people are getting things for sale. It's sale time. Okay, next. Okay, so you guys remember how I went to Forever 21 and I was like, oh my God, there's no Forever 21s here. There was, and there were some things, but I only grabbed two things because I wasn't like really astounded with the array of men's clothing. And listen, I, I will wear like women's jackets and stuff like that, I don't mind that at all, but they're never big enough for me. I am six feet tall, 200 pounds. I'm a big bitch. Yeah, big bitch. So I ended up just grabbing two things from Forever 21. I grabbed this like cream, white velour shirt, which I thought would be kind of cute to have as like something to layer. You know what I mean? Like I wouldn't I would just wear this by itself, but like a layering piece. So like I have like white velour. Do you guys see that? It's velour. It's velourin. Focus on me, not the velour. How dare you focus on the velour? So this bad boy was only 14. It was $9. It was on fucking sale. They, were, they had honestly every single color, but let's be realistic here. I would never wear every color of velour. I'm going to be honest. Let's be honest here. I'm not going to wear every color of velour. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Literally like this attracts lint. Could you imagine how much lint would get on these things? That's why I got the cream color because I'm thinking seven years ahead. Baby, I'm in 2028. Okay, next we have this. I just grabbed a casual black like button up uh, shirt. This one also again was from Pepper 21. This one's for 20 bucks. The problem is I grabbed a medium because they didn't have any larges or my size is large, so they didn't have any larges, essentially, period, at the end. Um, and so I grabbed a black button-up. I just thought it would be kind of cute, and I could wear this New Year's, potentially just a, a plain black button-up. The only problem is that I'm so scared it's not gonna fit me, babes. I'm so scared it's not gonna fit me, because I don't try on things in the stores. Never have, never will. So, I'm terrified. <laughs> I'm terrified. Like, there's something about, like, changing and putting clothes on, like, constantly that makes me really hot. My hair gets really sweaty. I get sweaty. And I am embarrassed by my sweat production. So, there's that. So, I'm gonna let you guys know if that'll fit me. I'm actually really scared. I was really, really scared. Okay, anyway, moving on. Okay, so I actually ended up grabbing a couple things from Sephora because I was, like, on my way out. I didn't film this portion because I literally was just, like, running out of there and I saw it and I was like, should I? I should. So I just, I'm just gonna do a quick little slip on. Okay, first things first. I got two powder puffs from Laura Mercier. I just, I love powder puffs. I love them for years and years and years. I use them all the time. So I ended up just grabbing a couple more because mine gets so filthy. And um, the problem is that these are $16 for one. So what are we gonna do about that? Should Lunar Beauty make some velour puffs? Huh. Huh. Thoughts are being thunk. Anyway, I grabbed some puffs. I grabbed, this is the Patrick Ta Dewy Milk Mist, the major glow in the shade She's Thirsty. I've actually never got this before. I actually think the packaging is very, very cute. I usually am actually not a fan of squared things. There's just something about me that's just like one random side note. Like lip stuff that's in like square, like square components that are like a rectangle that's like has four corners. Get it away from me. Get it away! There's something about it, I just feel like it looks very cheap. I don't know, square components just weird me out. It obviously, it depends on the square component, like, cause this one, to me, does not look cheap at all, and I feel like it looks very luxe. So it just really does depend, but most of the time, I don't really like square components. I'm weird. What can I say? I'm quirky. In case you haven't noticed, I'm weird. Anyway, you guys, next we grabbed this lip liner from Make It Forever. This is the Artist Pencil in Anywhere Caffeine. I just saw it, and I, I was like passing by Make It Forever, and I saw the pencils, and I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna look at them. And this color just seemed really pretty. It's like a nice nude, and I'm a huge fan of like nude brown lip liners for my nudes. I don't send nudes, I just get them. <laughs> anyway, you guys, and I grabbed, okay, I'm running out of my Hourglass Concealer, so I just picked up a revamp on it. The shade I use is Cream, but I also grabbed the shade Birch. 
I grabbed the shade Bitch. <laughs> it's Birch. Because I wanted to mix it and maybe go like lighter a little bit, like a little light under eye kind of moment, you know, a little brightening, a little brightness. Add some outer dimension on top, be the brightest little ball. Be the brightest bitch of the ball. Um, so I grabbed two of those. And then last but not least, I grabbed the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. And actually, I, I've gone through one of these fully, but it was the old packaging and I hated the old packaging. So I'm glad that they revamped it. I just had never bought the revamped version. Should I put them on now? Let's do, let's do. Mmm, packaging so much better. I think, I'm a huge fan of this, I'm a fan. Summer Friday's lip balm, I think it's really good. I'm a very big lip balm, lip mask, lip person. You can trust when I say something is good for the lips, it actually is. And this is, like this genuinely is. Okay, so that's it, vibes. Um, for Sephora, last but not least, you guys, we have Macy's. And I actually did go in on Macy's more than any other store because they had ink. Ink's bitch ass got me good. Literally, I have two bags for Macy's. I actually did a brand deal recently with Macy's. Dude, shout out to Macy's. Shout out to Masa's. Because I actually did a brand deal with them recently and if they want to do another one, we can. We can. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna go in and show you guys. I got some little teas. <gasps> Wait, am I missing anything? No, right? Okay, anyway, I got this shirt. These are all, I think everything here I got is from Ink. Um, because honestly, Ink has some cute ass shit <laughs> to ask. But I grabbed this, I grabbed like this little shirt. I thought it was really cute. Just a kind of little, just classic t-shirt. I thought it was honestly adorable. Why is it focusing on my hand? Focus on my chin at least. Anyway, a little like solar moment, a little lunar beauty. This is giving me lunar beauty vibes. You can't tell me it's not. And it's just honestly really cute. And guess how much I paid for this? You guys are gonna be like, it's yay! I paid. Okay, the original price is $34, right? Because apparently Ink was having a 50% off deal. Had no idea. I didn't get notified of these things, honestly, like dead ass. I didn't know until I was paying and I was like, fuck, should I go back for more? But I was, I was being too lazy. Um, I paid $4.93 for the shirt. $4.93 because it was on sale plus another 50% off. Better, you can't like you can't beat that. Four dollars? Are you is that it? That's a sick joke. And it's a joke I'm here for. It's a sick joke that I am absolutely here for. Next, grab this little casual one as well. Also from Ink. I just I liked it. I like the vibe. I like a little vertical stripe because I feel like I look a little skinnier. And I like looking skinny. I like looking skinny, especially after the holidays when I have put on some pounds. Yeah, I put some on. Don't judge me. Originally, this was $34.50. I ended up getting it for half off, so that means I got it for, do the math, do the math, do the math, 17 bucks. 17 bucks, like, that's kind of great. So, I don't know how long that ink sale is gonna last, so I go back for more, to be honest. Okay, this is something I did not grab from ink. I grabbed it from, and now this. This is also in Macy's. This is 25 bucks. I think I paid 25 bucks for it. This is just, okay, I just thought it was so cute because it has little mushrooms. Little threaded mushrooms on it. Are you, is this a sick joke? Like with how cute this is? Look at it. Are you seeing this? It has little mushrooms on it. Okay, this is the thing. Recently I watched Fantastic Fungi on Netflix and I have a, no, a whole new found obsession with mushrooms and I'm actually unwell and I love them. And I don't really like to eat them. I just like appreciate them for what they are. I love them. I love mushrooms. Like they're fantastic and so cool. And after watching the documentary, I am now a, I'm a super fan. A fungus, I'm a fungus fan. Fungi fan. Okay, anyway, next you guys, this shirt I thought was so cute. I actually ended up wearing this one for New Year's, for reals. I think this might be the New Year's fit just cause it's like, I feel like it's giving me New Year's vibes. It's a plain black button up right here, but look at the collar. The collar has like little jewels across the entire collar, little gems, little starns. It has little starns. You see that? Just a, a classic black tee, button up tee shirt. Dress t shirt? It's not a tee. But with little jewels across the collar. I thought that was fucking cute. Like it's giving me queer, but like less in your face queer. You know what I mean? Not that it matters, you can be in your face, it doesn't really matter. But like for me, if I'm gonna be like natural soft glam, I wanna be a little bit more natural soft glam with a fit too. If I'm being full glam, baby, give me the full glam shirt. But because I'm being a little more casual, I'm like, should I just do like a little, it's a little flare. I feel like it's a cute little flare. Mm. And I love it. And I end up paying, how much I pay for this? This was $65 originally. I pay $32. That's it. For a nice button up. Okay, but the other problem, okay guys, this is the thing. Help me, Jesus. This is a medium. And I'm a large. This is the only one they had. So, um, if it doesn't fit me, I will castrate myself. Live. Mm-hmm. I don't know what I'll do. But I'll, I'll freak out. I will. No, I will. I'll freak out. It's fine. <laughs> and last but not least of my excursion, this is honestly like, Okay, it's sickening. It's sickening, I'm not gonna lie. They like bagged it up for me all nice. I got it from Ink. It's cool, it's cool. Okay, we have a red 
faux, is this like crocodile? Faux croc, faux snake, faux fur. Not faux fur. It's a faux reptilian. It's a faux reptile. Um, jacket from Ink. It's, is this not giving you Michael Jackson? I feel like I'm like getting eaten by a fucking asshole. Like, pew. Okay, anyway, I just thought it was so cool. This guy originally was 129 and I got him for what? Do the math. 164 bucks? No, what's 129 divided by two? Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Oh, you're gonna be a bitch to me, okay. Hey Siri. She's just, she's not listening. Like, are you okay? Okay, I have to do this by myself. 129 divided by two equals 64. You guys, am I a mathematician? Literally. So I thought this was really fucking cute, you guys. I'm sorry, I thought it was so cute. Isn't it cool? Should I just like toss it on? I didn't even try this on in the store. If it doesn't fit me, I'll cry. Okay, let's see. Cause this is thriller! <laughs> Ooh, low key, I feel kind of fucking fine. I feel kind of sexual in this. Like, sup, baby? Let me take you to dinner. What? What's the TikTok? Sup, baby? Let me take you to dinner. What's up, baby? Take me out to dinner. Hey! That is it, you guys. That's it for my entire little shopping excursion. New year, new clothes, new year, new closet. I want to do these more because I actually have to shop and get new stuff. I do, I forget. Um, I can't just order everything online. I have to go in person and get stuff. Like, I do, I do. Because you find cute finds like this. Like, I love this jacket. I love it, I love it, love it, love it. What do you guys think? Do you guys like it? I don't know. I just get cool vibes from it. Like, I don't think I'm cool enough to wear it, but if I'm glam, maybe I will be. We'll see. But well, that's my entire haul. <laughs> yeah, it's my entire haul. Um, and I hope you guys have fun watching it. Honestly, I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, it's kind of different for me. Even like the setting is a little bit different for me, but I just honestly cannot fit all this stuff behind my desk. Cause it's like, I don't, oh my God, can you guys, let me see. Yeah, no, yeah, 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 I know. No, I know. That's why we're here and that's why we're queer because there's just a lot going on over there and it needs an exorcism. That needs an exorcism and a prayer. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But anyways, you guys, that's it for today's video. <laughs> My first video of 2022. Please, Lord, be with us. This year, I am like nervous. Like I'm dead ass nervous for this year. Please, like, let's not be in lockdown again. Let us get through it healthily, strongly, happily. I want you guys to leave your guys' 2022 resolutions down below. I'm really, really curious to hear what you guys have to say. I hope that you have the most amazing year. Mine, I would say, um, I actually talked about it on the podcast a little bit, but mine would definitely be to say yes more, initiate things more, try to be more outgoing, um, and not just be so complacent in my life. You know what I mean? I think it's really easy to get complacent. Zaya's mad. Yeah, she's mad. Zaya, they're just dropping off mail. Have an amazing rest of the night or day, wherever you guys are, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs> you guys, if I'm not in focus, like literally, I'll cry. I just wanna make sure I'm in focus, by the way. I just, I just wanna make sure, because honestly, if I'm not in focus this whole time, I'll literally, I'll scream. Track, yes, track my nose. Track my nose. I don't use this camera ever, so just track my nose, please. Ow. Mm hmm mm hmm Love her, love her.